remember on uh, September 12, uh, 2008, um, I went to my uh, service centre area they, because they have a mooncake festival at that time. Then I already received news at around 9 uh, something that the Sinchu Jipo journalist was arrested under the ISA and I was informed by my uh, colleague, uh, MP from uh, uh, Penang, that I'm on the list. I said, what? You must be joking. How can I be on the list? So I just brushed aside, but then I went to the Mooncake Festival. So I went up to the stage and tell people that uh, the rumors say I'm on the list also. Nobody believed that. No, no. So after everything, um, after the event, then 11 something, on my way to when my car about to enter the condominium that I stay, suddenly the car in front of me just uh, stopped, you know. And, uh, and my, my driver was got a shock and I uh, tried to like reverse. And another car at my back, it's not police car, it's ordinary car, also stopped. Yeah, I was sandwiched in between. And I saw four persons came out from the, uh, the car in front of me. One is a police woman. In my heart, I said, oh, oh. Then, uh, you know, they come to uh, knock at the window. I said, what's happening? Then the guy said, ask me to come out. I said, oh, what's happening? They say, I'm from, the, from Bukit Aman. And I want to inform you that I, you know, you have been arrested under the ISA. Then I say, what? You know, I immediately I want to take my handphone, I want to make calls to inform my lawyers and also, you know, at least family. And immediately the police woman just take my handphone away. And uh, they asked me uh, to go to the car in front, uh, to go into the car. Then uh, I asked that policeman, that inspector he, I say, under what offense, you know, under what pro uh, charge that you put me under the ISA? Uh, uh, I, I have caused the racial and religious tension. What a big, you know, uh, accusation that they thrown at me uh, uh, in the country. But I said, what have I done? I didn't even know I said. I, I said I never made any statement or do anything that uh, had caused religious and racial tension. So then they don't want to talk to me further. They just asked me to go into the car. And, you know, I say, where are you going to take me? They say to the detention center. So I say, how am I going to, to know where are you going to take me? Then they say, your driver can follow. Then I ask my driver to follow. So that's how I was brought to the uh, Wangsa Maju police station. And uh, they spent two hours to, uh, you know, um, take, they normally it is a procedure. You have to take out my handbag, everything. They have to count every single cent that I have, every document that I have. And, uh, you know, and they do the recording there. And they even have to do body checkup on me. So, uh, my God, then uh, until about 2.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. Then only uh, I was, I was even asked to blindfold, uh, wear the big spectacles, ask to blindfold. They even want to handcuff me, throw me into the van. I protested. I say, why do you want to handcuff me? I will have what crime have I done? I cannot run away or not. I'm really in your police van. Then they, then the head said that okay, just relax. No, so I went in, and I am forced to wear the big spectacles. When I was brought into the van and all that, I saw so many of my supporters and friends, my members, you know, at the gate outside. The police yeah. have come, you know, but I can't talk to them. Then yeah, I, I was you know heavily escorted by the police, and I was brought to a detention center. And uh, when I reached there, they they, had to, they they demanded me to wear the big spectacles that I cannot see anything mm -hmm. black, the black spectacles. And uh, I do, uh, you know, um, I have to be asked to a room, do another round of body checkup to see what are the bruises or whatever, you know, uh, fracture that I have. That is a procedure. And I was asked to wear the prisoner's the garment. Yes. Okay. Uh, prisoner garment. And, uh, you know, I was just thrown into a cell alone. Suddenly, you know, I was thrown into um, the best budget hotel, eight feet and six feet uh, bathroom attached. And there is a little window at the at the door, like the wooden door. I was and my door. I was latch. They latch the door, you know, outside. And the, in that room, the window is very high up. You know, I can't climb up. I don't know what's happening outside. Where am I and all that? So when I was thrown into the cell, it was around about I think four four o'clock in the morning. I was so tired, you know. Then I, you know, I have no choice. They, they, and they're on the light, you know, mm -hmm. all the night. I, I can only you not know, just uh, lie down and sleep there. In, and in that bed, there are two beds there. Uh, there are wooden beds. 
no mattress, no pillow, nothing. nothing. So then the next morning, uh, I was given food. Then I was brought to uh, you know, um, what do you call the special branch officers for interrogation. So I, I asked them that why am I you know being brought here? Mm -hmm. Notice that the question that they asked are from Utusan Malaysia that was published a uh, few days before I was arrested, mm -hmm. which I have responded. I have scolded you know um, uh, what do you call that the article. They published in Pakistan, Malaysia, that accused me uh, for bringing a group of people to protest against the uh, Azan, you know, the morning, uh -huh. the Muslim morning prayer, uh, some, uh, you know, in the Pucho. Uh, and uh, I was accused of, uh, you know, opposed the uh, Javi works in the Rook signage, mm -hmm. which uh, I had done, of course, you know, in KL uh, a long time ago, where I proposed to DBKL, let's have a three lingual, you yeah. know, uh, road signage. And they also have accused me one more thing that I have that I have suggested to use the zakat fund, eh, the Muslim taxpayers, uh, that the Muslim tax eh, zakat fund uh, for the non-Muslim, which is something that I had never said that before. I also had never heard from anybody before. So this kind of uh, you know flimsy accusation that thrown uh, on me. So then I told the, uh, uh, the special branch officer, I say, why don't you bring me a computer? Write down all your questions. I write it down for you. I save your time. So then he agreed. Then afternoon he brought me, you know, a laptop computer. Then I just answered. I remember I answered four pages uh, of uh, five main questions uh, that they asked me. So um, that's it. Then I was, uh, you know, put in the in the cell, solitary confinement, uh, for seven days. Oh my God! It's what morning nine o'clock. They will come to bring you knock at your door bring you out or oh, blindfold you and uh, bring you to the uh, uh, cell, uh, to another the office room to meet with the, uh, the five special branch officers. And uh, by six o'clock, they will, by lunchtime, they will send me back. And also at night, by before six o'clock, they will also send me back to the room. Then I'll be all on my own, you know, in the cell. After, when I go back to my own room, every 15 minutes, the, uh, there is the lady officer, the police officer outside, they will come to see me. For me, it's to see whether I'm still alive or not. <laughs> okay. you know? So see whether I have committed suicide or not. So I just put there, and uh, of course, with the pressure outside, when after mm -hmm. I was arrested, then uh, I went uh, up to the third day. Uh, I was allowed. I was brought to Bukit Aman uh, to meet with my parents, okay. family members. Then uh, the second day, I was allowed to meet with my lawyers. Then I instructed my lawyer to uh, lodge a police report. Uh, against, you know, defamatory remarks made by Kia Toyo in his blog against me and also the Utusan Malaysia article against me. Mm -hmm. So I have done that, you know, for, for me, it, I lodged a report under, you know, def criminal defamation. Mm -hmm. So um, <coughs> I thought they should have, if there's, Point. for me, if, if the government is smart enough, they should, should have just uh, released me, yeah. you know, the next day. You know why? Because I understand that after I was uh, put under the ISA, the Imam, you know, of that mosque in uh, Bandar Kirara, he actually came out to say that I did not involve in the petition against the Azan of that mosque. And this came out in Malaysia Kini. And uh, so I think it came out in one of the English uh, dailies, uh, daily also. And they should, the government should know that they have caught the wrong person. They should just release me. Yeah. But they didn't. They kept me for seven days. Then you know, I was uh, the, uh, the I remember Deputy IGB cleared my name uh, by saying that um, I'm no more the threat to national security. For me, it's oh my God, joke. It takes seven days. Yeah, what a joke! <laughs> the, this shows what you know. The police actually did not carry out investigation before they arrested me. Yes, yeah, true. Yeah. What have they done? What the, our special branch? I thought they are the you know. The, 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 the one of the uh, top tens, you know, in the world, uh, that can track down terrorists, communists, or whatever, you know, uh, criminals. I mean, didn't they do a proper job? Just because Kir Toyo, the former Minister of Sanitation, wrote that in his blog. Talk to me. I didn't know that I had never made any seditious or racist statements in my in any of my parliament speech and in my you know uh, statements. So on what ground that the police, you know, or the government just put me under the uh, behind bars for seven days? That's why, you know, after my ISA uh, detention, 
I instructed my lawyer to issue a letter of demand to the minister, to the Malaysian government, to the police, to ask them for explanation or to tender apology. Of course, nothing done. Mm -hmm. And uh, I sued them. Okay, so what's the status of this case now? Of you. course, now, uh, you know, for um, for who? Uh, this Mahfuz, uh, YB Mahfuz, uh, mm -hmm. he won his case after eight, seven years. Oh my plus. god, then so now you're under the Yes, so for me now, you know, it's not even uh, one year. Oh, okay. Uh, so it takes time. 